everybody. So we're gonna do a quick little video and make it fast as possible, right straight to the point on uh, System 3 XTR 370s. So we're gonna do a little review video on them. I see tons of people constantly asking questions about these tires and um, I'm gonna give you my input on them. I've been running them for probably, oh, let's say 1300 miles-ish. Um, I've been running them for year and a half, almost two years, somewhere along them lines. I bought I bought them right quickly after I bought the machine. Barely put any miles on my stock tires. I went straight to the 35s. So I got some pretty good experiences with them. There they are. 35 inch System 3 XTR 370s. They're a little dirty, but that's okay. System 3. XTR 370s in a 35 by 10 by 15. My personal take with these tires are they are absolutely amazing. And anybody says they got problems with the sidewalls and stuff like that, I think you're running your your pressure too too low or too high, one or the other. I don't know. I beat these things off rocks in West Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Michigan and i have never had an issue i don't i've never had a flat i do run b locks obviously and um i keep them at about 10 psi no matter what i run no matter if i'm in sand mud dirt rocks mountains it don't matter i'm at i'm at 10 psi so my feeling is that when somebody has issues with them it's they're either running too high or too low air pressure put them at 10 all right they're fine you don't need to run three three psi I think I went to Tackett Creek and I was at 12 PSI and I did just fine. I mean, I did roll it, you know, but um, I made it, made it over everything, had no problem. Um, so yeah, that's my take on these XTR 370s. Uh, they're, they're perfect. They're perfect tire for everything I do. Everything I do. Only downfall. And I will say that they, man, it's hard for me to say, do they wear quick? I don't know. Those ones were on the back since I got them about 1300 miles you know we're, we're up we're there um i do run a two-wheel drive a lot so maybe that's why you know obviously that's why they're worn those ones are in the back like i said i just rotated them uh, we'll go to the, these ones were in the front since new so where are we at here we're over my fingernail that one and then this one which should have been on the back you know, we're right there. So, a little meat gone off them. But that's 1,300 miles of some road riding. I think 13. I don't know what I got on it. You know, I might be wrong even on my what I'm telling you. I forgot what I have on it. So, we're at 2,200 miles. I put these on there at about 700 miles. So, I don't know. I don't know. What's, what's the math on that? What's the math? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever the math is on that, I put them on there about 700 miles, maybe a little, maybe a little less, 600, 650. But uh, that's however many miles that is. <laughs> um, and I've had zero issues with them, and I'm, I'm talking zero. Never had a flat, never had a sidewall blowout, never had none of these tires have plugs in them. And I've taken it through some rowdy shit. If you watch the videos, you'll see. You know, it's been everywhere. Never a problem. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, she said never a problem. So yeah, that's my take on them tires. If you are debating on any 35 to go with, that's a good all-terrain, all-around tire that you're not going to have to worry about. System 3 XTR 370s is where it's at. I know a lot of people run Rockzillas. I just don't know how them do in the mud. They don't look like a good mud tire to me. They look great for rocks. But these are too. A lot of people say, how can you run them in the rocks? Well, why? I don't know. Why wouldn't you? They, they got grippies, you know? They, I've never had an issue. I've taken them up mountains. That's my input on the uh, System 3 XTR 370s. So, anybody's got anything to say about them, you know, we can debate or whatever. And I think it's hard to, uh, you know, real hard to debate and tell me that that's not a good tire when if you watch my videos, you'll see it's a good tire. There's 
there's just no way that anybody can say that it's not. You know, everybody normally, you know, they're saying this tire is the best, this tire is the best because what they have. I obviously I know that, and you know that's I've ran these and I've ran the carnivores on here. These compared to the carnivores, night and day, honestly. Carnivores are good tires, but they will wear down in a matter of days if you, depending on what kind of riding you do. Um, also for mud, they're built kind of the same as a carnivore as far as like the um, tread pattern. But uh, these seem to dig a little better than the carnivore. I don't know why. They're pretty much identical, but these dig way better. Could be because I have 35s compared to my stock 31s. Ground clearance, all that good stuff, you know. Um, I've also owned a set of the uh, tensor regulators. I had them on a, my YXZ. Those were also amazing tires, but you know, we ain't doing a review on them. Uh, anyways, System 3 XTR 370s, awesome tires. If you're looking to get tires on your machine and you got a KRX, hop up to the 35s, for real. Don't mess around 33s. Don't go stock size 31s, 32s. Get the 35s, the machine can take it. Just do it. And any other machine out there, um, Can-Am. I got two buddies that run them on their Can-Ams, the System 3. One of them don't like them a whole lot, to be honest. He said that they are out of balance and they wobble. Uh, so does this, but I'm not doing 80. So it, it, I don't really get it too much, you know what I mean? If I'm doing a straight rip and I'm trying to see how fast I go when it gets up to like 65, yeah, it'll start wobbling. But I don't know if that's because of the tires or because I just got a bunch of loose shit on here because I beat the hell out of it. But uh, anyways, he, I got one one buddy that has them on his Can-Am. He's got 32s. He loves them. The other guy's got 32s on his Can-Am. He's kind of iffy about them. So I guess it's personal, personal preference, but uh, I'm down with them. And I'll probably run them again yeah. for my next set. Cool. What we got going on over there? Sounds like a Mustang. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, oh, anyways. Uh, I gotta hear that. Oh yeah. Okay. One good thing about living in a city, people rip all the time around here. So I see some pretty badass rides coming up and down this road. Downfall living in the city, I feel like I'm in the middle of Chicago with freaking fire trucks and ambulances every goddamn day, all day. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's my take on the XTR 370s. I appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. Uh, have a good day. You should hold there and we'll wench you.
just high centered yourself. Yeah. <laughs>